Hey, what's going on? Keith from Trigger Happy and have a Rock River Arms uh, firearm that we're going to take a look at tonight. Anybody that knows me knows that I am a huge Rock River Arms fan. Uh, if you get your hands on one, they're always awesome, always perform well, and this gun we're going to take a look at is no different. Um, first of all, Rock River gives you a really nice plastic case. If you're going to shell out the money for a nice gun, uh, gun companies take note. Rock River does it right. You get a nice plastic case, not cheap, crappy cardboard. Um, that's just my soapbox there. So anyway, moving on to the good stuff. We'll start down here. Okay. All right, we'll just start down here. Uh, this is a Rock River Arms LAR-15 pistol. Yeah, that's right. It is a pistol uh, by federal law. If you'll note, obviously it's very short, front to back. It has no stock like a rifle would. It is on the AR-15 platform. Um, so if you were to look at the gun, say, here, um, the upper receiver looks very similar. Um, you know, the lower looks similar, but it has no stock, and it has a very short barrel. So I'll go front to back. This particular one is the flat top A4 version and 10 and a half inch barrel. Um, you can get this gun in a seven inch barrel. Um, again, this one is the 10 and a half inch. Um, if you start from the front, pretty standard um, flash hider here. Um, it's not exactly a standard A2, but it's pretty close. Um, with such a short barrel, you're gonna get more muzzle flash. There's no doubt about it. Um, so is it gonna cut down on it much? No, probably not. You're still gonna get quite a bit of muzzle flash. Um, this is a, a direct gas, not a piston gun or anything like that. Um, so with such a short barrel, again, you're gonna get a lot more muzzle flash, at least from my uh, experience and what I've seen in red. Um, sling attachment on the front. You do have a little bit of rail here, so if you want to attach a uh, front post sight, maybe a flip down sight, something like that, you do have that option there. Um, pretty standard uh, plastic handguard here. I would probably swap that out with something with maybe a little rail space. That's just my personal preference, the one that comes on here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Keeps your hand cool and uh, safe there as well. Um, Going on back, it does have a flat top, so if you did want to attach some sort of an optic, in this situation, um, I can't imagine why I'd want to scope on it. I would want a red dot, um, something along those lines. Um, you know, going on down, um, the fire controls are going to be really similar, in fact, identical to a standard AR. Um, a few features that are different on the pistol versus the rifle platform. Um, if you've seen me talk, I like the match grade triggers they put in a lot of the rifles. The pistol does not have that. It does not also have a winter trigger guard, but really not necessary. Um, you can, uh, there is a pin you can pull and this will uh, swivel down. It does have a dust cover. It is not the chrome line bolt carrier group that a lot of Rock Rivers are known for. Um, again, not that there's anything wrong with that. This one will suffice perfectly well. It does have forward assist. Um, and you know you flip it over your controls are pretty much where you'd always want them to be um, you know fire and safe button um, and the release there as well has a really nice rock river um, rubber grip to it i like that accepts regular ar-15 30 round magazines uh, p mags anything you want to put in there it's going to take that um, and it's going to chew it up and spit it out so really like that um, going on back, it's got a buffer tube. Does this buffer tube come off? Um, yeah, maybe, but you don't want to do that because here's the deal. Um, somebody's going to get a bright idea of, hey, I got a short barreled gun. This is cool. I'm going to buy this and put a stock on that. Um, you cannot do that. That makes it an illegal firearm. It would be a felony to possess that firearm if you did not have the proper NFA stamp. Um, which I won't really get into here, but nevertheless, this gun is considered a pistol because of the short barrel. And if you alter this gun and put a stock on here or something fancy, you know, um, 
you've basically altered the gun, made it into a rifle, and it then becomes a short-barreled rifle and is therefore illegal. So don't get in your mind that I'm going to buy this cool gun and make it a rifle because you're not going to do that. Um, yes, it's chambered in a rifle caliber, obviously, 5.56, five, um, but it is, again, considered a pistol. So it needs to be kept in this configuration. Yeah, you can uh, you can get some covers, some rubberized or foam uh, covers for this because you know truthfully, I wouldn't want to uh, put this up to my shoulder. I think it would uh, kind of tear you up. I mean, that's that's steel and it's hard and it's gonna probably leave a nice bruise. Um, so if this were my gun, I would get one of the foam covers um, and I would probably find a way to attach a. Uh, a sling to it so I could have maybe a single uh, point sling um, which really in my opinion is what the purpose of this gun would be um, would be something in terms of a tactical gun where um, you know if I was on a SWAT team if I had to do room clearing and I need to keep a gun uh, tight and light this would be perfect for that um, and that's probably where I would want some rail space here where I could have a light um, and maybe some other accessories. So, um, pretty awesome gun. This particular one retails around the $900 point. Um, so it's got basically the same features and controls that any AR-15 would, just in a short barrel and a no stock, which is what makes it a handgun um, or a pistol, so to speak. So. Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's a really interesting gun. Um, yes, AK-47s come in a smaller version, which is called a Draco. Um, I'm not a big fan of anything made overseas like that. I like uh, the American-made platform, which is what this is. And it's going to function good. It's a rock river. You know it's going to rock. Um, and so check it out. We can get these on occasion if you're looking for one. Um, and again, start out at about 900, go up to about 1,000 depending upon the rail. Um, you can get some with a carry handle here and a few other different options from Rock River. Um, and they are awesome. So get them while you can if you're looking for something that is going to be all kinds of fun. I mean, just all day long. Great time. This is what you're looking for. So we'll see you next time. Thanks again. This is Keith from Trigger Happy. See ya.